This is how Intel can beat AMD. And wait, all that transparent displays? Well, don't go anywhere. This is MLM. <laughs> Acer's Enduro N3 is slim, light, and even comes with water-resistant features. Perfect for working on the go. Get the i5 version for 4,699 ringgit or i7 at 5,699 ringgit. Every purchase will get you a free backpack. What are you waiting for? New performance numbers have been popping up on the internet for the all-new Intel Rocket Lake S i9 11900K and this time it is overclocked to 5.2 GHz and of course it was compared to AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. Results show that the i9 11900K beat the Ryzen by 4.83% in single-threaded performance but is behind in multi-threaded performance by 3.74% at stock. When overclocked, the Intel has a 6.53% and 6.4% performance performance lead in both single core and multi-threaded performance. But apparently all of this comes with a whooping 250 watts thermal design power as compared to Ryzen 7 5800X 105 watts TDP. So with this much TDP, won't you also be getting higher temperature? Simon pointed out that Intel still uses 14 nanometer process. But a breakdown of Intel's 14 nanometer and AMD 7 nanometer by YouTuber Debauer shows that both of them are more similar in size than one would think and that we should look at real-world benchmarks for performance comparison instead. While the i9-11900K is priced at around $450 which is pretty legit for a top-of-the-line processor as compared to the Ryzen 9 5850X799 price tag, you still have to allocate some budget for a motherboard that supports your processor and also a better cooler. So will the total cost bring you more value than the Ryzen 5800X? Well, we can only wait and see. Remember when I said Xiaomi Mi 11 will be the first ever smartphone to utilize Snapdragon's A88 chipsets? Well, the Mi 11 just hit the China market last year, December 28th, and guess what? The Pro variant is coming out next month. Wow, tech these days really cannot chase la. Anyway, the introduction of Snapdragon 888 chipset means that users will get to experience the performance of the all-new Cortex-X1 CPU core, which is a new custom line of CPU cores that are all about the performance. It has a 30% higher peak performance as compared to the Cortex A77 and that is all you need to know for now before I confuse you guys or even myself. Next, this chipset also supercharges AI power. Well, just take a look at this. Thanks to a Super Game AI performance powered by Blink AI algorithm, you can now shoot crisp and clear videos at night. Now, more about the Mi 11 Pro based on leaks and rumors. It could feature a 2K 6.81 inch curved display with 120Hz refresh rate and could come with a periscope that allows users to zoom up to 120 times. 2D face unlock and under display fingerprint scanner may be available too. And as for RAM and storage, they're pretty standard lah. 8GB or 12GB of RAM and 128GB or 256GB of storage. Finally, it might come with dual speakers and x axis linear motor that gives you a better vibrating experience. <coughs> And an IR blaster that allows you to use the phone to control all your home devices. Not all lah, but those that can work with the phone lah. We still do not have much solid information regarding the 11 Pro, but here is a picture of it. Leaked image of it, sorry. So what do you guys think? Doesn't it look rather similar to the latest Note? With CES 2021 happening this week, we get to see a lot of innovative products from big brands and this 55-inch OLED transparent display from LG in particular really caught my eye. Transparent displays are basically glass-like displays that allow light to pass through from front and back. And also, the parts that are used to build these transparent displays are also transparent themselves or are so damn small that our human eye cannot see them directly. How cool, right? Anyway, here's what we know. Number 1. Home Usage LG Smart Bed is a frame that can be easily activated with a push of a button. And once it is turned on, the 55-inch OLED transparent display will rise up, displaying all the information set by the user or TV contents without compromising its image quality. The best part is that it comes with embedded speakers, so there's no need for external speakers. And also feel free to move the frame around so you can watch anything you want 
wherever you want. Number two, restaurant usage. For restaurant owners, these displays can be used as partitions so that customers can see what the chefs are doing from the other side without any close contact. It also can serve as a fun pastime while the customers wait for their food. Number three, public transport usage. These displays can even replace traditional windows on transportation, displaying information such as the weather information, train line map, or even news. So there's no need to worry about missing a stop anymore while you gaze out the window because they will just notify you on the window panel. How cool! Other than a transparent 55-inch OLED display, LG will also be rolling out a non-transparent 48-inch 4K display targeted at gamers. The display is bendable, so you can play on a curved screen or a flat screen depending on what game you're playing. Just like the transparent 55-inch OLED display, audio comes directly from the display itself, providing an even more immersive and enjoyable gaming and video experience. The only downside is that this 48-inch 4K display only supports 40Hz to 120Hz refresh rate. Well, I guess it is a give and take la. Can you find a 240Hz bendable display? Hmm? Transparent OLED is a technology that maximizes advantages of OLED and can be used in many various ways. Remember all the cool gadgets that we see in sci-fi movies when we were younger? Well, move aside sci-fi because transparent displays are coming and I really want to install these transparent displays on my windows in my new house next time but I don't think they'll be available to public like mass consumption so soon uh. probably in another 5 to 10 years time Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story is not a new game, but it just launched on Nintendo Switch last week. It is a 2.5D problem-solving game with ghost encounters and paranormal glitches. According to the developers, Top Hat Studios, this game is heavily inspired by Clock Tower and Fatal Frame when a dystopian cyberpunk future is mixed with traditional Chinese folklore. Players will play as a girl, Melin Mark, who must uncover the mysteries of the 14 souls she encounters as well as the curse on her family. You can explore every part of the world through puzzle solving and even voice acting where you use your own voice to interact with in-game characters. The story unfolds based on your decisions, so sometimes you may face consequences that are not initially present. This horror adventure game doesn't heavily focus on jump scares or anything visually scary, but it focuses on complex themes and its storytelling that brings you through an intriguing story that you will struggle to forget for a while. Just like Resident Evil, it really isn't that creepy when it comes to the visuals but it is the story that makes it 10 times creepier. Also, this game does not have checkpoints or auto save, so that means there will be more weight to your daily consequences of your actions. Everything you see or hear in game could be augmentations messing around, but they also could be real. In other words, it can really mess you up in the head, so this game may be a little too much for younger audiences. Lah. Even before its launch on Nintendo Switch, the game has already made itself quite a name after receiving death threats to censor the game because it is explicitly pornographic, encourages violence, and even breaks the Law the developer made a statement boldly saying that they refuse to censor the game to defend their creative freedom and expression. What do you think about this? Should a game like this be censored? And what are some of your favorite horror games? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, comments time! Choose me to be 2021 first readout comment please. Fine, just for you since you've been supporting me since day one, okay? But next time, please ask me something so I can reply you. If not next time, Shane will ask, Hey, this guy never asked anything. Why you give him a spot in our comment section? Ah? Samsung should release just a phone that uses AAA batteries or a phone that which you can just charge using solar or rubbing, whichever works. Rub to charge your battery. If it takes so much effort to charge that phone, I'm not gonna buy that phone. <laughs> Have you ever been a kindergarten teacher? Because the way you end some sentences in high pitch is perfectly a teacher type. Uh, no, I've never taught in kindergarten, I've never teach, but I do teach uh, piano last time, so I guess that's why. Hiya, you guys bangsawan already also need support button. Uh. Well, the reason why we are even bangsawan in the first place is because of supporters like you. So in 2021, don't we want to become better? So this means we want to become more bangsawaner. Abdul Hasif Ryan. Other channels. Hey guys, welcome back. Blah blah blah. This channel. Intel level one. Yeah, I know. Well, this is a very good idea by my boss Shane. He gave us this idea. 
So, you know, because the first three seconds we believe is very, very crucial in grabbing your attention. So, which is why we decided to change up the whole momentum and the whole feel of the video. John Morrell syllable. Dude, I almost had a heart attack when she said this is the last MLM. Wow, I do have a lot of great supporters, right? Thank you so much. Don't worry, I don't see MLM ending anytime soon. And even if there are any changes, it will just be new elements into this segment so keep an eye out keep on watching our videos not just mlm our other videos too next christina frax michelle don't you get anxiety filming these vlogs i don't get anxious at all actually because i do enjoy making video content and i love talking i love sharing i love educating full stop right jean 29 i hope next year is a big one for mob house the most underrated and underserved tech channel on youtube i'll keep sharing on reddit until people stop paying attention and then i'll keep sharing anyway oh my god i'm crying already <laughs> wow thank you so so much I didn't expect this. I didn't expect anyone to actually share them, share our videos on Reddit. I thought usually it's just a share button on Facebook. So this means a lot to me, okay? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you! And I hope this year will be a big one for you too. A big one for all our other supporters out there. If you don't support us, I still wish you a big one this year, okay? So see you in the next one. This is MLM. Bye!